What's up everybody, Ken also known as Wildshy here, and welcome to my beginner's guide on adrenaline for your PlayStation Vita. Now you're probably asking the question, what is adrenaline and what does it do? Adrenaline is essentially a PSP emulator of a physical PSP with custom firmware on it. If you're familiar with PSP hacking and using custom firmware on your PSP, you'll know that custom firmware allows you to use plugins on your PlayStation Portable. And adrenaline is no different from a custom firmware PSP. It too will give you the ability to load PSP plugins such as CXMB, Game Categories, or CW cheat. Do take note that some PSP plugins do not work on Adrenaline and unfortunately the very famous Pops Loader plugin does not work on Adrenaline and unfortunately it never will. For those who are unaware of what Pops Loader was and what Pops Loader did, Pops Loader was a plugin that allowed you to increase the compatibility for PlayStation 1 backups on your PlayStation Portable. Speaking of PlayStation 1 backups, you can also download and install dumped PSP and PlayStation 1 backups on your PlayStation Vita, just like the PSP used to. And of course, I also have to mention with the newest update of Adrenaline, Adrenaline Dash 6, we can now run Adrenaline off of our SD to Vita, which means more storage space for your PSP, Vita, and PlayStation 1 games. Last, and certainly by far, Far not the least, with the recent update of Adrenaline Dash 6, we can now install Adrenaline without having an activated Vita. For those of you who are familiar with using Adrenaline and have a used Adrenaline before Adrenaline Dash 6, you know that you are not able to activate your Vita any longer because Sony has blocked the firmware version 3.60 from activating your Vita. Therefore, for the people that were not fortunate enough to activate their Vita before Henkaku and Adrenaline came out, you were not able to use Adrenaline at all. But again, with the update to Adrenaline, Adrenaline Dash 6, we can now install adrenaline on our PlayStation Vita without having to activate our Vita at all. With that all said, let's jump into the requirements for installing Adrenaline Dash 6 on your PlayStation Vita. The first requirement, and it's a no-brainer, the Vita must, must be running on 3.60 firmware and running Henkaku Enso. And for those who are about to type a comment and asking me, well, what if I'm on 3.61 or above? Sell your Vita and buy a Vita that has 3.60 firmware on it because there is no way of downgrading your Vita to 3.60. The second requirement is that we're going to need an FTP client such as FileZilla. I'll be using FileZilla in this video today. It is free. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to download and install FileZilla for free. And last, we need to have an active internet connection for our Vita and our PC that we'll be using for our FTP client. With the requirements out of the way, grab your Vita, fire up your PC, and follow along with me, and we'll install Adrenaline Dash 6 on our PlayStation Vita. Okay, so first we're going to start off on our Vita. Once we're on our Vita, what we need to do is either open Molecular Shell or Vita Shell. Now, Molecular Shell is the shell that is installed with Henkaku as soon as you enable Henkaku. Now, you can choose to install Vita Shell, which is a little bit more powerful than Molecular Shell in terms of functionality and features. If you want to use USB mode, I suggest using Vita Shell, but if you don't mind using FTP on your Vita, then you can use Molecular Shell or Vita Shell. But I'm going to use Molecular Shell to FTP stuff over because not a lot of people have Vita Shell as an alternative to Molecular Shell if they're just beginning with their Vita. So we're going to go to Molecular Shell and we're going to start it. Make sure you're connected to the internet before you install Molecular Shell. Once we're in Molecular Shell, hit the select button on your Vita. This will bring up the IP address for your Vita. And this is the IP address we'll be inputting into our FTP program on our computer. So now that our Vita is in FTP mode, let's jump over to our computer and drag and drop the VBK installation file for Adrenaline over to our Vita. Okay, so now that I'm on my desktop, as you can see, I have Chrome and GitHub open, and I have FileZilla open. So what we're going to do is we're going to first look at Chrome, and we're going to download the 6.61 Adrenaline-6 fix. This is a uh, bug fix that was uh, released just recently after Adrenaline-6 was released. So we're going to click on the Adrenaline.vpk, and this will download the VPK for us. We're going to keep Chrome open for now. Now we're going to go over to FileZilla, and right now we have to make sure that our Vita is in uh, in FTP mode. So make sure you go to your Vita, and you make sure that FTP mode is enabled. And what you need to do is you need to go to the top here, where it says host, and you need to type in the IP address that is on your Vita screen. So on my Vita screen, I currently have 192.168.1.250. Now yours might be different, it generally is sometimes different for people depending on what the router assigns your PlayStation Vita for an IP address. So if it is different, don't fear, just make sure you type in the correct number that is on your Vita screen once you are in Molecular Shell. So next what we need to do is we need to input the port that is for uh, the Vita. Now what we have to do is we have to type for the port is 1337 and then we hit Quick Connect. 
And there we go. So our Vita is now connected to our PC using FileZilla. Now what we want to do is we want to go into UXO and we want to drag and drop the Adrenaline VBK into UXO right like so. Now I already have it installed so I'm going to just overwrite it just to show you. Now you won't have an icon that says overwrite. It will just immediately copy over to your Vita. And that is it. That is all we have to do with our PC for now. So we're going to switch back over to our Vita and we're going to get to installing Adrenaline-6 on our Vita. Okay, so now that we are finished with FTP mode on our Vita and we've put our Adrenaline VBK file on our Vita, we can now hit circle to exit out of FTP mode. Now make sure you scroll down to the UXO folder on your molecular shell and hit X. And we're going to scroll down until we find Adrenaline.VBK. Now once you have found it, go ahead and click X on that and X again to install Adrenaline. Now it's going to warn us we need extended permissions to install. Just click yes on that. It will install in no time flat. It's not a very big installation for Adrenaline. And once it's finished, what we're going to do is we're going to back out of Molecular Shell. We're going to close it completely, and then we're going to scroll down until we find the Adrenaline Bubble. Once we have found the Adrenaline Bubble, go ahead and tap on the Adrenaline Bubble. Now we have to make sure that we have an active internet connection right now. Currently I'm on my Wi-Fi connection before we start this. So once you have uh, an active internet connection, go ahead and click Start on Adrenaline. Now it's going to ask us if you want to download the 6.61 firmware, and we're going to do that by hitting the X button on our PlayStation Vita. Now the 6.61 firmware is not that big and this will depend on how fast your internet connection is on the download speed. So as you can see I'm already at 22% on my Vita so it doesn't take too long for it to download the 6.61 update file for your PSP. Well the PSP's file for your Vita I should say. So I'll see you guys back when this is done downloading. Okay so it's finished downloading the 6.61 firmware. All we have to do here is we have to uh, Tap on the Adrenaline Bubble again and run it. Now you'll see that it'll say Adrenaline and it'll ask us to install the 6.61 firmware here at the top. So just click X, it should say loading 6.61.pbp and it'll create the directories and all the files. It'll basically decompress the uh, firmware file for us and it will basically install a PSP custom firmware on our Vita and then we can launch it using Adrenaline. So this doesn't take too long, it takes a few minutes and it should go by rather quickly. Okay, so there you go. The firmware has been installed successfully. Press X to boot into PSP XMB. So we're going to hit the X button on our Vita. The screen will go black here. And then you'll notice that it looks like something familiar to you as soon as it boots up. There we go. So we got the PSP menu on our PlayStation Vita, which is actually pretty cool. So now I'm just going to just blaze through this setting, I don't really care about time and date right now, just to show you guys. So we have everything that we had on the original PlayStation Portable custom firmware. We have the VSH menu by, uh, you can bring this up by accessing, or you can access it, excuse me, by, by pressing the select button. And we can change the uh, core clock, such as the, um, the CPU clock on the XMB and in game. We can change the UMD ISO mode. We can go into our recovery menu by going right here. It does take a few seconds for the recover menu to load, there we go. And there's a few more options in here, right? Like configuration, we can change a whole bunch of settings if you need to do so. Generally, you don't need to do so. And you can also uh, fiddle around with your plugins in here. So basically, um, this works exactly how an old PSP with custom firmware works, but it's on your Vita. So now we can play any PSP or PlayStation 1 game that we want on our PlayStation Vita instead of having to buy them or, or emulate them using an emulator. So. There we go, that's how you install uh, Adrenaline on your PlayStation Vita. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. There are a few um, settings that I accidentally almost missed there. So if we hold the PS button on our PS Vita, and we go to settings at the top here, this will bring up the Adrenaline menu. Now, Adrenaline supports save states kind of like the PSP Go did. So you can make a save state without actually having to find a save point in your game. Now there's also a few more settings. We can actually move over the settings by hitting the right trigger or the L trigger on your Vita. Uh, we got graphics uh, options such as um, original, bilinear, sharp bilinear, uh, advanced AA. I personally like to go to sharp bilinear because it makes the pixels a little bit smoother. You can also smooth over the graphics. You can choose the uh, PSP game screen size because obviously the PSP's resolution is a lot smaller than the Vita's resolution. So you can feel free to adjust the game resolution there. You can also adjust the PS1 game's resolution as well. Uh, there's now an option for memory stick location. So uh, my memory stick is um, UXO. Uh, you can choose the, to use um, Adrenaline on your UMAO, which is the 
um, the memory card if you're using an SD to Vita. So UXO is the SD to Vita and UMAO is now the actual memory card that is supposed to be used with the Vita. And you can also use a PlayStation 3 or 4 controller if you want. And that is about it. That wraps up Adrenaline. I almost missed this. I do apologize. Once again, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.